Hello and welcome to another Warframe video. In this one, we're going to take a look at Ash and Convectrix, which I used in my recent level cap run. I also used the Cleave during that run, the build for which has already been shared on the channel. And the link will be in the description if you do want to check it out. So let's get started with Ash and Convectrix. So taking a look at the Ash build, brief respite for shield carrying, which really helps in endurance runs. But I'm sure for it, so we don't get knocked down. You can use handspring if you don't have this one yet. Transient fortitude, which is I personally prefer. You can also go for blind reach in this option. It does help you with shield carrying better because basically you'll have lower efficiency. But I will suggest using primed flow in this slot then instead of using streamline because you don't want efficiency at all at that point then. Rolling card, so we can be invulnerable for three seconds and it also status cleanses easily narrow-minded for duration negative range we don't need a range at all on this one it is basically for solo level caps endurance runs whatever you want to use it for smoke shadow it actually gives us 150% cc flat on any weapon you use that is how you can easily get additional crits if you're using ribbon you you're almost getting red crits every time if you have cc and cd on it so really great augment to use on ash 100% uh, recommend Prime continuity, so we can have duration on our second smoke screen. Seeking shuriken is really great. It's for armor stripping the enemies. Uh, it's mostly for demolist in disruption because at higher levels it becomes a bit harder to kill them without armor strip, which is what I found. I mean, if, if you have more experience in level cap runs, you'll have you'll do this a lot easier. But for me, I need this mod. It's really great as well. Streamline because I need efficiency and strength is basically for roar. I've subsumed roar on this one because it really helps with the double dipping of slash it really really is great i can deflection to negate status on slash and resistance for toxin i mean you still take damage from toxin from noxus if you kill them but it doesn't give you status of toxin so as long as you're not in the cloud of the nox you're basically good to go so that's the ash build so taking a look at the Convectrix build, we have Prime Ravage for crit damage, Cleanse Grenier because we are double dipping the enemies, Vigilante Fervor for fire read. It also gives some amount of critical chance on your weapons. Galvanize Hell because we are using it for killing the enemies. So more multi shot on kills. Incendiary Code for heat. Uh, you can make a pure slash build, no worries. But I like to put on some heat as well to give more DPS because heat does double dip. It does deal additional damage, especially combined with Roar and Cleanse Grenier. So it is really, really great. You can skip this one. You can use any other one if you wish. But I personally love to use Heat on Convectrix. Efficient Beams is a mod that you will have to buy for Plat, sadly. Uh, but it is really great, especially on Convectrix, because you don't consume ammo when you're just shooting wildly. If you're not hitting anything, it will not consume any ammo. And plus, it gives you additional status chance. You can proc a disgusting amount of Slash and Heat if you're using the Heat as well. You will proc disgusting amount of Slash and heat is using this mod critical deceleration for crit chance you can use the crit is fairly decent and especially combined with ash's smoke shadow augment it is good i'll say galvanize savvy for status chance but additionally it is like condition overload for weapons right other than melee weapons so 40 percent direct damage per status type affecting target so the more status you have on the target especially the demolish or any other enemies you're proccing with epitaph and you use galvanize savvy weapon like you're using Convictrix. So it will deal a lot of damage because your epitaph will proc cold, impact, puncture, slash, maybe, and a few other. If you have electric, if you have viral on it, it will proc all those statuses. And plus, additionally, you have slash and heat from the Convictrix. It is a lot of damage. It is a lot of, lot of damage. So yeah. And vigilante supplies, so we can easily pick up ammo. And also, it does help with enhancing crits. The vigilante set is really great especially if you want to enhance crits on your weapon. Now, I'm using primary dexterity here because my main DPS in the run was Glaive. So I was easily able to get the prime dexterity up. But you can use primary merciless in this slot because it is really great for dealing damage. But I personally use primary dexterity in this slot. So let's see how the build works in Simulacrum. Then we'll show the level cap run itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down our two. That is smoke screen. I'm going to use my roar. A and here we go. You see, when I'm using my Convectrix, it does not use any ammo at all. But as soon as I hit a target, 
it uses some amount of ammo. There we go. Also, the thing about Convectrix is it has an alt fire where it will kind of spread the damage among enemies. As you can see, it's not targeting one single enemy, but the damage will be a lot lesser in comparison. So this time we'll see how it works without the roar buff, right? So even, even without the roar buff, it deals a lot of damage because first of all, Slash is a really great DPS against any enemy, especially Grenier because it bypasses the armor completely and deals pure damage also it double dips as well because we have cleanse mod on the convectrix also as you can see with efficient beams up i've been holding this on for so long but it hasn't emptied my magazine at all because it only consumes ammo when the enemies are being killed. Now let's see how it works with Smoke Shadow and Roll. Plus I have equipped Merciless on my Invectrix, so let's see how it goes. To get off that darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye I just have to touch the enemies a bit That is all it needs See this too So the merciless stack is really, really great. It gives you around 360 additional damage, additive damage when you have 12 kills, which is really great. Once again, also if we do armor strip the enemies, it becomes a lot easier because like I said, it deals a lot of damage. Armor stripping is really great, especially at higher levels. That's the thing. That's the reason we have Seeking Shuriken on, uh, especially against enemies like the Eximus. Uh, on regular enemies, regular elite lancers and all, it won't be... I mean, they're just gonna die anyways. But again, Demolished against Eximus it is really great. So yeah, that was the build showcase. Let's get on to the level cap run.
So that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and share with your friends. Comment if you have any Warframe questions. Subscribe for more Warframe content. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.